Welcome to a new video of Dr. Steam, where I explain you some functions of the Steam Launcher. And in this video, we talk about the uh, Steam game in-game overlay as you can see here this is my steam game in-game overlay at the moment so some of my friends are online that's great and in this video i'm going to show you how we actually turn it off and how you can actually also change this overlay because there are a lot of questions uh, when you google there are a lot of questions of people that ask say how do i disable this steam overlay also an advantage of disabling a steam overlay for example on a pc that has not so much performance is that then your game runs better. So this is proven, guys. So probably not in every game, but this is a proven fact that games then run better. All right, so without further ado, let's jump directly uh, in the Steam overlay. So here, my friends, you get all these information. I love it. So I really like the Steam overlay and I'm keeping it. You can have some discussions, for example. That's pretty nice. So a lot of cool stuff. You can also play with the controller settings. If you have different controllers, I like this as well. You can record and then you have a, when you have the Steam overlay function here or the steam overlay options that's so you can uh, access those uh, steam settings also here in the overlay itself but you can also access them obviously outside of it and i show you also immediately how it goes outside of but let's stay here in the steam settings here in this overlay uh, option so enable steam overlay while in game so if i click this now away then obviously i don't have a steam overlay anymore and show toolbar as list view that's actually cool so let's Let's try this. So where's the toolbar? Here we go. See, that's the toolbar now as a list view. So let's go back. So I actually like it more when it's here down. So do, 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 we make this toolbar back. Restore my previous browser tabs when starting a game. All right, makes sense. Scale Steam overlay text and icons to match monitor settings. So I think this is very useful. If you, for example, uh, play on a 4K screen, then overlay shortcut. So that's for me, shift and tab. I use it since years. And then I also have here the FPS counter. You can see here my FPS counter here in the upper right side. And then we have in-game FPS counter high contrast color. So I can turn this, for example, off. And then I it's gray here. It's gray. You might not see it right now. So I make it green again. And then I have, for example, my web browser homepage is Google. Delete web browser data. So I recommend you to do this if you also have some performance issues. Toolbar preferences. That's so cool. Oh, my God. You can even turn different uh, toolbars uh, on. So that's why we call. And then I take a screenshots. When a screenshot is taken, display a notification. Play a sound. Copy of my screenshot. Save external copy save external hdr copy so i have it here on a users mr orange documents so i'm saving it there for example so a lot of good good stuff here my friends so <laughs> definitely the 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 toolbar preferences is pretty neat because you get so much information here out of it if you have connection problems, this is also very cool. You can uh, server browser pings minute connection problems while browsing game servers. Try lowering this value. It's automatic here at 5,000. What I always liked is actually the notes. There are sometimes games where I where actually typing your notes and the next time you come back, you use the overlay again. The notes are actually there. So that's also pretty cool. All right, guys. So we're back at the Steam launcher. And uh, now I'm showing you how you can turn off, uh, to disable the Steam overlay from here so you don't have to do it in game. So on Steam, and then you go on set. Then you get again, enable Steam overlay while in game so you don't have to go in the game, show toolbar as a list, etc. So all of this, what I was talking uh, just before. Then if you also want to. Uh, change some other, uh, let's say you want to disable Steam overlay for a certain game. Uh, I found, for example, this post here from 2023. Uh, I, I, I tried it for one game and it actually works. So it's actually very interesting. So, but it's possible that it doesn't work anymore or at the moment, at the time that you're watching this video, it's not working anymore. Therefore, not going too much here into details, but I found it actually very interesting. So, and, uh, 
and also possibility is uh, you go if you want to actually change the steam overlay you can change it even in the config file but i like most people always recommend do not change the config file or if you do it then please make a copy so this is what you find here so i'm leaving i can scroll a bit here that you see how you do this so there's a config file with enable game overlay etc so but do this on your own own risk guys that's a very difficult and dangerous part so that's not it's not made for for everyone so i would do this uh if if you're not really an expert uh, uh, with pcs and pc gaming all right my friends with that i'm leaving it here see you next time in another uh, steam guide stock to steam that's my name <laughs> no my name is mr orange but see you in another steam guide uh, and have some some great ideas uh, with little helpers little helping videos so check them out bye bye